It's been a few days since Marvel's Avengers Update 2.7 was released, and now, I finally feel like I've got enough playtime to give my honest opinions on both the new Omega Level Threat, Cloning Lab, and the newest character to the Avengers roster, the Winter Soldier. I'll say this, I had a lot more fun playing Cloning Lab for the first time than I thought I would. The feature where we're trying to gain access to the lab by capturing the points and stepping on the pressure plates and if we don't do it at the right time then uh, it'll shock you to death and you'll have to start over. That was a nice little twist to it and it was challenging in a good way though. Other than that, the mission itself felt a little short. Uh, the previous OLT family reunion felt almost twice as long as this one and granted it was a story mission repurposed as an OLT but if that's the standard for OLTs we should be getting content at least that same length. It also didn't feel like we were actually in a cloning lab, it just felt like another aim lab, you know? It would have been nice to at least fight some Monica clones, like in the end of the Cosmic Cube final fight, with all the little Monicas just running around attacking you, something like that would have been nice. Or even just add in an Abomination or Taskmaster boss fight in the middle before you fight Modok, something like that would have just added to the illusion that it's a cloning lab. Now moving on to the actual Modok battle, it was good. The cutscenes between it felt a little long though, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like it was longer than the actual amount of time it took us to beat Modok. For my team, it wasn't a super long and hard battle, but it wasn't necessarily a short one either. I have seen some squads take him out really fast though, like under 30 seconds type fast, so keep that in mind. Uh, in terms of gear, I haven't had much time to get my hands on all of it, um, and either way, you're probably better off going to another content creator who actually knows something about gear, because I am not that guy. <laughs> Honestly, I go to other content creators to do my own gear stuff. But from what I did see of it, it looks pretty solid. Uh, overall, I'm going to give Cloning Labs a 7 out of 10. It felt a tad underwhelming in terms of it being quote-unquote new content, but it was also a great deal of fun. Let's start with his story. Like Jane's mission chain, it felt a bit short. From my memory, Spider-Man's mission chain felt longer than both Jane and Bucky's, and I just wish they added a few more story beats. With that said, I did really enjoy what they did with Bucky's character, and the voice acting, as always in this game, was superb. Yeah, but the brainwashing, it... It has two parts. Sure, we destroyed Monica's protocols, but there's also the receiver algorithms, and those receivers are still in my mind. Honestly, I think Bucky's voice actor, Scott Porter, gave us some of the best vocal performances since the Reassemble campaign. And I've never been a huge Winter Widow shipper before, but after this uh, little uh, iconic mission chain, I, that changed. <laughs> Let's just say that. His gameplay, though, is actually quite fun. Granted, it is very similar to Cap's gameplay, but I found that his knife combat and his shotgun combo was just plain awesome and fun. And speaking of his gun, I absolutely love the AR they gave him, or what, it's not really an AR, but whatever they gave him, the full auto setting is like my favorite thing ever. I just use that all the time. It's so much fun. Like, it makes me feel like I'm playing COD, which is definitely a good thing, especially for a character like Bucky, at least in my opinion. For Winter Soldier, I think I'm content with giving him an 8.5 out of 10, but this is overlooking the main issue that many people have with him, which is his similarities to Cap and Widow, and if I were to factor that as a negative for him, I would probably go down to a 7 out of 10, but I didn't really see that as a huge negative because I thought it was varied enough to where it felt new, fresh, and it was enjoyable. Overall, I think this update was fun, a bit refreshing, but still has the same problems that we have come to expect from Marvel's Avengers. It's just not enough. For the entirety of 2.7, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. While I do really enjoy both pieces of content that we've received in this update, I still feel like we could have gotten a bit more. And of course, this is only my opinion, as with any piece of content, I highly encourage everybody to go actually play it and experience it for yourself and form your own opinions on it. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about 2.7, how you were enjoying Cloning Labs, or how you didn't enjoy Cloning Labs if you didn't. And let me know what you think about the Winter Soldier. Let me know what you think about his combat, his mission chain, uh, the voice actor, even some of his cosmetics. Just let me know. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you dislike the video. Subscribe if you'd like to. I'd really love it if you do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.
Fuck!